Let's talk about manipulating the DOM with refs. Here is the component that we built up yesterday. React has this really handy document that talks about manipulating the DOM with refs. Now there's a handful of things we gotta do. We need to import the use ref hook. I'm just gonna use it off of this global right now. And we need to create a ref. So we'll do that right below our use state. I'm gonna use let and cons together because I love chaos. Let's call this a uh, content ref just in case we add any other refs and we are gonna default this to null. Uh, again, I'm gonna use the global here. So we change that, that should be all good. Now this is a three step process. So now we need to use the special ref prop and assign our ref to it. Now there's a special thing that happens when you pass in a ref, React knows that and will assign the underlying DOM node for every time you render this component to this ref. Okay, so next we actually just need to use it. Now there's a handful of rules around using it, um, but for now, let's just log it out when we press this button. Let's wrap this in a block because we're gonna call two functions, alert content ref dot current. This is the only property that you can access on this thing. It's a one property value. Uh, so we have current, that's gonna be a whole DOM node. The value that we're interested in is scroll height. So let's save that and see how we did. When I click this, it should go less and it's gonna show us the whole, the scroll height of 455 pixels. That's great, that's exactly what we want. And we have successfully used, used ref. Okay, so there's another document that you should totally read, and this is, uh, let's see, differences uh, between state and refs. Okay, this is something that you're gonna wanna check out. This is part of the next assignment. Here you can just see exactly the ways um, a ref and state differ. It's uh, pretty stark, but one of the ways that they do differ is that you're not supposed to use a ref inside of render. And we'll cover that tomorrow. Now, if you're just catching up here and you wanted to see yesterday's video, I'm going to put that up here. And then tomorrow's solution, I will put here when it's ready. See you in the next one. Bye.